Hi guys! Surprise! Um, so I'm back from my LA slash Vegas trip and I thought to do a quick video to give you a update slash a mini haul because some of you guys have requested it. So first of all, I just want to say that um, LA was fun. I got to spend some quality time with my mom because we've never been there before. I went to like all the touristy places like Santa Monica Pier, the Hollywood Boulevard, Oh, and I was in Westfield, Century City, and I saw Wendy from Wendy's Lookbook. I like literally, my jaw dropped. I wanted to like run over and like take a photo with her, but like, that was with my mom, and she was like, what are you doing? I was like, don't worry, you don't know who she is, but she is so cool. Anyways, um, I actually saw her do a photo shoot like right there, and, um, and then later I saw the photo posted. I was like, oh my God, I was there. And we went on a tour to Vegas, like an actual tour bus, so I didn't really do anything outside of the tour requirements like I couldn't really break off and do whatever I wanted to do so it was fun but I still got to see all the things that I think I wanted to see like for example like the Bellagio water thing and the the Mirage volcano thing and I also got to see the Great Canyon I went on the west side which uh, I was able to actually go on the helicopter ride and the boat ride where I got to take out like really nice photos and things like that I'll quickly show you what I got first um, First of all, when I was still in LA before I went on my Vegas trip, I discovered uh, this little boutique in um, uh, Long, Long Beach, I think it's called, and I got this necklace, which is like, basically, it's like a triangle and attached to another triangle. <laughs> it's really cute because I thought that this is great because you can actually um, tuck the triangle inside a shirt and you can make it look like you're wearing a, um, a body chain. It doesn't tarnish and it doesn't like fade. It's just like a nice sort of uh, like gold, gold color, but not like the tacky gold, but like a rosy gold color. And then um, near nearby that uh, boutique, there was actually I discovered this uh, beauty salon, which is called Susan Hammond uh, Skincare. I was so happy to discover that because I really needed a um, some you know cleansing and also uh, some many and petty like desperately so I managed to book my appointment with her and got a facial and everything done and um, she also sold this really cute bracelet I don't know if this is actually made by her but she said that she actually uh, sells them only at her at her boutique so basically it's like uh, a leather um, with like the chain around it so obviously very Chanel inspired and it um, and then it hangs like a little crystal um, this is like blue I think it comes in different other colors as well and they get them in different charms she was like, oh my god, you know, my daughter told me to drink green tea after watching a video. So I was like, oh, that's awesome. The next thing I got was uh, when I went to Vegas. And don't laugh because, you know, there were so many like Hello Kitty stores all around LA. I just could not help myself. But check this out. This is the Hello Kitty uh, like contact lens case. I walked past it. I'm like, no, I have to get this because look at it. One side is the Hello Kitty face and the other side is the little bear. That's like so cute. And now that I got these um, lenses from WI Lens, which are like 30 day ones, because I usually wear daily ones where I just take them off and throw them out. But I wanted to try these ones because I like Michelle Phan and blah, blah, blah. Everyone had, had them. So I was like, you know what? I want to try these ones. And these are a 30 days ones. So which means I will be needing to put them in an actual contact lens case. So I thought this is really cute. So they have like left and right eye, but I don't have any degrees in them. So it doesn't really matter which eye you put it in. But you fill it up with the solution and then look at it. It is so cute. I was looking around and I found this also on sale. It's these um, Hello Kitty bangles. Um, it basically, these are like, they're in a set of three. I like them because um, they're like colors that I actually would wear, like burgundy and this like green, what's this color again? Mink? No, whatever this color is and it's white. So you can actually wear them separately or together in like a set. Okay, the next thing I got when I was in Vegas was Uh-huh, uh, yeah, D you look confused. This is actually chocolate, okay? <laughs> but I haven't ate it because I was like, this is just like, it's just gonna be like a souvenir. Basically two dice and like, these are chips, like $5, $25 and $10, uh, no, $100 chips, but I'm not gonna eat it because it's so cute. Um, and this is like from a souvenir shop that I we just happened to like walk past. And obviously I got a Hello Kitty. <laughs> Vegas keychain with the Hello Kitty like as a showgirl and it's just holding a sign that says welcome Las Vegas, Nevada. It's so cute and it's pink. I've been kind of pink obsessed this trip because of October which is the breast cancer awareness month and that's why I've been like sporting pink a lot wearing pink lipstick, pink nail polish and I also got a pink bangle 
Um, this is a bit of a splurge. No, not anybody, not everybody could afford this, but I got this because um, it was kind of like a, a early Christmas present for my mom. And it's this is the Tiffany and Co. Pink Bangle. So I actually uh, wore this a lot through my trip. Yeah, when I like something, I kind of like do like everything in that direction. I don't know why. The very most important thing is this shirt or this jumper that I got from Kitsons in LA. When I saw the shirt, I like totally flipped because I saw this on, on Instagram, posted by a lot of like fashion people, and I was like, where can I get this shirt? Because I totally, totally feel what the shirt is saying because I love YSL and love how it was called Yves Saint Laurent. I'm just like, dude, man, it. This is this is what it is. You know, it ain't. Laurent without Eves. That's just how it is. And when I saw this, I was like, I have to have this. This is probably one of like my favorite purchases out of my whole trip. Last but not least was when I, on my way back from Vegas to back to LA, we went past like, this is part of the tour, went past the M&M factory, chocolate factory, which is by um, Ethel M. And uh, the guy introduced us to this thing called the classic peak and brittle. Apparently it's only exclusive to that uh, factory only. So you can actually get this outside of the factory. So people actually go in there and buy box and box of this. I wanted to buy I wanted to buy more, but my mom was like, "Look at your double chin." So I could only buy one box. Um, this is like so good. I uh, wish I could share some with you, but basically, it comes in two packets like that, and you can get them in the original flavors, so the chocolate doesn't melt. It does come with a chocolate covered one, but if you if you store that in like a, like a hot temperature it actually melts so if you get the original one it doesn't matter if it's hot or cold it stays like in this shape and it's like really buttery and nice and it's like it tastes amazing so I wanted to say I want to clear this up that you know obviously we have a new schedule to have a new video like beauty related video every Sunday um, morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time which is New York time um, but then I wanted to surprise you guys with a, like a random video like this every now and then in between. So sometimes you might get two or three videos or uh, in, in actual one week, but it just not be scheduled as it was before. So make sure you come and refresh this page as often as you can and see if there's any, any more videos up. Or you can sub me and they will send you notifications when I have any videos. When I was at the Great Canyon, it was so beautiful there, like um, all the rocks and you can see the, the layers of these, you know, rocks changing colors and how everything is cut so perfectly and um, obviously it is like one of the seven wonders of the world and I'm really glad that I got to I got a chance to visit it because that was one thing that I wanted to do in my bucket list and I can tick it off um, I however do want to go back there one uh, in the future to to go and ride the mule and uh, go like hiking and go like over the edge because I wasn't allowed to because I was with my mom. Hopefully in the future when I go to LA we can do like a meet and greet and uh, that'll be that'll be really good. So let me know um, what other places I should have visited when I was in LA. So I hope to see my next video then bye!